tēnei wā tonu e mihi atu nea hau ki a koutou kwa te tū mai nei ki runga e inga whira o korauna. I raru e te maru tō tātou maunga tūpona a taupō nui atia. Ko a hau tō tangatā, Bronson Pettit, e mihi atu nei ki a koutou. Ko e nei te kēmu whakamutunga o te pakanga na nui o te Premier Girls Tournament. For all of our New Zealand secondary schools, this is St. Kindigan's College taking on Baradine for the privilege, for the honour, for the bragging rights of being the premier girls for Aotearoa. St. Kindigan's are wearing their blue and white stripes. Baradine have decided to take dark navy and gold. Yesterday, Barry Dean sporting white with gold trim when they took on uh, Mount Albert Grammar. By defeating Mount Albert Grammar, Barry Dean were able to get to this game. Mount Albert Grammar putting up a very good, hard effort. And they took on Westlake Girls this morning for third place. These proceedings are being brought to you live and direct on Fakata Māori with support from Apollo Projects, Baileys, Caltex, New Zealand Carbon Farming. Fakata Māori being the true home of youth sports here in Aotearoa. He paku hui i mua e te tīmata o te kēmu nei. Ka tahi anō ngā kāpene ki a huki atu ki ngā kapa. On the St. Kentigan side we have Maddie Dowling at number two, Sheila Fa'afua at number three, Charlize Kerr at five, Danielle Levy at six, Olivia Steele at seven, Bria, Briar Richards at eight, Jessica Wiles at nine, Pia Vlock at ten, Hannah Saxon at eleven, Amy Kavana, Kavanagh at twelve, thirteen is Jade Ross, fourteen is Anna, perhaps again Fanunga, Haley Taylor at fifteen, Nicole Clark at sixteen. Putri Adana at 17 and 18 is Alex Clark. On the side of Baradin College, we have Tessa Sims at number one, Georgia Roberts at two, Poppy O'Brien at three, four is Esme Reed, five is Katie Bruff, six is Penny Brill, seven is Charlotte O'Neill, number eight is Mel Madeline Woodford, number nine is Emma Pites, number 10 is Manuela Juarez de, de Gado, I think that's Delgado, not De Gado. Liliana Cesaria at 12, Lucy Hunt at hmm, two 12s. Alyssa Bellamy at 13, 14 is Chloe Chua, Grace Neal at 15, 16 is An Anija Irvine, and number 18 is Misha Petherbridge. Baradine and St. Kentigan's College, both elite schools in Auckland. The uh, premier schools in Auckland are, uh, are known for a reputation of uh, buying in Pacifica and Māori players. Doesn't appear to be happening here on the Papatakuro today in the case of soccer. But you never know. Ngari i tēnei wā tonu me mihi atu hau ki te katoa ngā kapa kwa tatū mai ki taupōnui atia. Ki te whawhai, ki te prai, mō tērā taitara, rongonui e kia nei ko ngā 
Premier Girls or Aotearoa. Baradine College have the ball. It's firmly in the hands of Anija Irvine. If the previous games are any indicator, neither side will be neither side will yield points unless they really, really have to. You're gonna see a determined defense, you're gonna see relentless attack in this game today. E whai ana Baradine ki te whakamahi i te upoko. Hei whakatika i ngā raru. Baradine using their head to get ahead. Ko te pātai ia. E a hei ana Baradine ki te whakahuki ki te taha pai ake mō rātou. Okay, the Kaitiaki Matua. Mm. And, and we've seen that throughout the course of the tournament. The goalie will kick to the side and defenders will try and bring up to midfield. Didn't quite work. But you've seen that that is a commonly employed tactic in these games. Oh. Baradine showing that uh, they're not afraid to use their heads. Oh! Bump off! Penalty for the St. Kent's girls. Te mahi a whakata Māori i tēnei wā tonu. Te papāho i ngā hākinekina o te rangatahi. Ki runga te mato te whenua. Ki runga tiwi. Ki runga ipurangi. So if you're wondering how you can get onto Māori television, if you're, on, if you're watching through Freeview, it's Freeview Channel 5. If you want to watch these games on YouTube, check out the Whakata Māori YouTube channel and look at the football playlist. Kei te kaha pēhi a Baradine i a St. Kent's ingari. Kaore he aha. Kaore he aha ki a St. Kent's. Do we have an opportunity for points here? Not quite. St. Kentigan being a Presbyterian school. Kentigan being also known as Mungo is the patron saint of the city of Glasgow. And Baradine almost, almost scored there with the ball going over and around the goal. Baradine being a Catholic school. Situated in Rimbuera. St. Kentigan's being situated in East Auckland.
a high level of skill being exhibited by both sides. St. Kent's using a slight tackle to get the ball back into touch to reset the rhythm of the game. Some heavy reflection of the backs of the St. Kent's girls makes it hard to see their numbers. I can only see their stripes. Igari, Morato Baradin, Himamatikite, Himaramatikite. St. Kent's goalkeep. Looks like she's going to kick the ball. Oh, yeah. He put on Noiho. I thought she was going to use it to try and launch the ball into the into midfield with a big boot. Not quite. Ko kiri tonu ana a hato kindergarten. Tona ingoa no ko hato mango. Here's a bit of trivia for you guys. Saint Kindergarten is also known as Mungo. And that's the actual, not the school, but the person that the school is named after. Kutapatai Nayane, Keia Baradin College, or the Sacred Heart, the Manawapai, Kia Faka Ihuwaka, Itene Watonu. Waika Hua, Waika Tohu, Waika Toa. That's the question on our minds today. Who will come out on top as the winner, as the number one Premier Girls team of Aotearoa? Will it be St. Kendigans of East Auckland or will it be Buried in College of the Sacred Heart of Remuera? Koanya <laughs> Tera. Penalty kick for uh, the girls from St. Kent's. Fana. Mm -hmm. And that looked like an attempt to bring it into their number 17, Alex Clark power. Or Putri Adana. Not quite too sure what the way the names are arranged here on our on our jersey list. Ingari Kea buried in the portal, Katai Ka Fanaki Waho. If I forgot on a matter, King Akayafi, or Tene Tonaman, a Kia Neko, Apollo Projects, Rata Co Baileys, Co Celtics, Co New Zealand Carbon Farming, and of course, Fakata Maori. Te Kanga Tuturu, Unga Ha Kina Kina Rangatahi, or Aotearoa. New Zealand home of youth sport. Football being only just one of the youth sports being offered on Fakata Māori. Mena hi hi ati ana e koe ki te titiro, ki te mātakitaki, ki te ana mata. O ngā hā kina kina o Aotearoa, haramai ki Fakata Māori mātakitaki ai. Interesting garb that the uh, St. Kent's goalie has. Orange shorts, orange shin guards and socks. Black boots, jersey, and a blue hat. Hmm, the tohu tohu na te referee ki aia, ki te kaitiaki matua, ki hei matu i rongo pai. Fana. St. Kent's trying to reset the tempo of the game, trying to bring the momentum in their favour. Maneuvering the ball to midfield. Ingari Kepo he he koto. Kauria Baradini te koi e he. Watching Baradini play yesterday, they did very well. St. Kindergans beating Westlake girls to get into this game.
and Barrett in College beating Mount Albert. And that was a tense game. But my prediction will be that whoever wins will probably only win by one point. It's going to be a close game today, Dewey. It was exactly like that when Westlake girls took on St. Kendigans to get a spot in the final here. 80 minutes of non-stop football with only a, a half-time break and only one point being yielded. And telling by what's going on right here, I think it's going to be the exact same thing. Barradine and uh, St. Kentigans are both incredible teams. I will call Mount Albert Grimmer, Konga Mags, the Lions. They are very competent teams as well. Ingari Kotahi Noiho, Te Kapa, E Tuai, E Mauana, O Kamau, E Te Taitara Rongonui, O Te Motu, O Tira, Konga Premier Girls, O Aotearoa. Oh, I Hinga Te Te Kau, O St. Kindigans. For Hannah Saxon Dera. <laughs> ah. Apologies to Anya Irving, Takoma Ono, or Baradine. It is not Anija, it is Anya. Aku Fakapaha to Kiaya. O taku whakahua he o tō ingoa. E ānia, murua mai. Mo taku he koa. Buried in continue. To vie for position. Neither side showing any signs of weakness. And that's often what happens with high quality football. You see a lot of stops and starts like this because both sides are so good. Very little scoring, very little yielding. And I think that's what this, this game will end up being. My prediction, it'll be a one nil to whoever wins. Neither side has shown any signs of weakness throughout the tournament. Ako Kotahi Noiho, buried in college, a Omana, Kari Motetuohu. Ko is my re tera, the number far. Ki mai te pōro, ki te papatākoro, ke Barry Dean College in Ayane. E kaha o māna, te kau mārima, ko na kau Clark tērā, o te kapa St. Kent's. Meki, hato mango. Mō tātou e kōrero Māori ana. E pai ana te whakauhua e te ingoa Kentikini. Ingari hi ingoa nō tō Kentikini, ko mango te rā. Koia te hato e tiaki pai ana i te pā nui o kotirana e kia nei ko Glasgow. Kentikin being the patron saint of Glasgow in Scotland. Ka tai nō te uihara o te referee kia karanga, he... Fana few na te hinganga pia. Ma Saint Kent's te poro i nae nei.
Not too sure if that was a if that was a position trying to get the ball to a an attacker. But it ended up just going straight out. And attempt that goal that went wide. I see the love topo light up sign there. It took a few years for the Macron to get on top of that O. As the status of today, our Māori has evolved. It's become an increased focus on spelling those words right. Now, Fanonga and Tainui Rohe use the double vowels. But here in Topo Nui Atia, we either don't use macrons at all, or we just use them. No double vowels here. Kwa hinga te tihi, o te kapa hatomango. No reda he fana few. E tu mai nei a uh, Berrien College ki te aukati me te kaupare ki te tiaki pai e te uhanga. Ara ko te pai u torato pai u torato uhanga. And if one was a master of curve kicking, this would be the best opportunity to do that right now. Mm. Not quite high enough. Straight into the shins of the Baradine girls. And then it rolls out. Baradine girls must be relieved that it didn't quite go St. Kentigan's way. Takumihi aroha mo ngā kōtiro o hātō mango. Oh, tata ki te face ball tērā. You always feel for the girls that get the ball straight to the face. If it goes straight on the button on the nose, it'll make you cry. If it goes into the eyes, it hurts. If it goes into the cheeks, it just gets annoying. St. Ken's vying for a point there. Buried in college, bringing the ball back into midfield. <laughs> that was Amy Carnava, Kavanaugh of St. Ken's at number 11. Trying to get her team into an advantageous position. Thought we were going to see that again, but not quite. St. Kent's were able to maintain a, a good rhythm and a, and a good attack, but not quite being successful. Game's slowing down now as we come to the 20th, 21st minute of St. Kentigan's College versus Baradine College of the Sacred Heart. The best of East Auckland versus the best of Central Auckland. Two of Auckland's elite schools. 
Oh, there we go. Beautiful. Wonderful. First, first point of the match goes to Barrett in College from the corner kick. Berardine a one love. One love in favour of Berardine. St. Kindergarten's love, Berardine at one. Just before it was all love and now it's one love. Okay, a hato mango te poro. Goalkeeper for St. Kent's has the ball now. Rolling it to one of her defenders to try and shake off the uh, the buried in attack. Penalty kick in favour of St. Kent's. Motato e Kururuana e te reo Māori. Ko te ingoa mo St. Kent's, ko Hawaiian Eo, ko Hato Mango. Nā te mea ko, ko Mango, te te hi atu ingoa mo Kentigern. Te Hato e kia nei ko St. Kentigern's. Engari, hei whakangāwari o te whakahui roto i te reo Māori, me ki a hau ko Hato Mango. Uh, ka tahi te rutu ko tērā. Barrett in college trying to get past the stalwart defence of St. Kent's. St. Kent's girl couldn't quite get the ball in her control, so she decided to say, get out of here. Corner kick from Barrettine. Will this be another goal? Barrettine already proving that they are well capable of using corner kicks to make goals. Here we go. Not quite. Oh, and... Ball snatched up by the goalkeeper. Engari keipo he he koutou. Kaore he pūkinga pai. O Berardine. Kao. Tino koi. Tino koi ngā pūkinga. Tino nui te kounga o tēnei kapa. E kia nei ko Berardine. And the St. Kent's defenders aren't shy to just check the ball out. When things aren't going their way, kaputu ki waho. Norera kei raro a St. Kentigans e putu ana, a hato mangu. Ko tahi te piro o Baradine College of the Sacred Heart, ki te kore o ngā piro o hato mangu. Me mihi atu ka atika ki ngā Kai Tautoko o te tona mana nei, e kia nei ko Apollo Projects. Rātou ko Baileys, ko Caltex, ko New Zealand Carbon Farming, ko Whakata Māori, te kainga tūturu o ngā hā kina-kina rangatahi. St. Kent's, they really need to change the, the tempo of the game. They really need to get it back, get the ball back into their half of the field. At the moment, they're playing defence. And the previous games are a sure indicator that St. Kentigans are well capable of mounting a firm and determined defence in the face of an unparalleled onslaught. But if the girls are to win, they need to get back on the attack. This is one of those situations when a great defence is an even better offence. Oh. And again, the goalie trying to bring the ball back into midfield. 
not using her defenders, just relying on a big boot. Ana na ko te toa, ko te mai o te tokuruara. Nice curve. Ko te te koma fitu. O Saint Kentigan's Tikitera. Ko Alex Clark pair. Another corner kick from Baradine. No doubt they will use this as an attempt to create some points. Do they have it? Ooh. Almost. Tera te korero aki aki. And that's a confirmation that the number two, the pronunciation of her name is definitely Georgia Roberts with a J. I was wondering if it was Horgia. Some cultures using the J as an as an H. Okay, Lucy Hunt to Tako Marua or Baradine. Kafanatu ingari kwa kapu hia e hatomango. Baradine showing no fear in the face of adversity, pushing forward. That is Ismay Reed of Baradine College. She doesn't care whether it's one, two, three, or four defenders. She just keeps on going. Fera ingara piti or Duracell. Kote Tuarima or Buried in College called Katie Bra. Oh, Kwa Hinga. Titihi. Oh, Teratu. Kwa Hinga. First one was um, an easy fall. This one, Hemia hemea Fara. Kwa Fara Pea. Te Kotiro o Hato Mango. Engari, E Rereana. E Tu Tonuana. Koira te te fana few ki runga te fira. Ko fana hia e hato mango. To te gatu ki te uboko, ki te uboko o Baradine. Baradine girls are again using their heads to get their way out of problems. Ingari ke te neke neke tonu, ke te neke neke tonu a hato mango. Ki te wa hanga pai. Oh, an inward pass. Can 17 capitalize? Not quite. Will she pass it back out to number eight? Yes, she does. Number eight will go for the goal. No numbers in the middle to support. So Baradine with a karate kick say, get out of here. Tata ki te takau miniti e toyana i te hafe tuatahi o tēne kemu. Ke wainga i a hato mango. Rāua ko Baradine. Baradine College of the Sacred Heart taking on St. Kindigans. The best of the e the best of the central versus the best of the east. Otamaki hitting a waka, hitting a takata, and attempt at goal, bit wide. No reda kapapa hongi ngi ne kemu kirungi afakata Maori live and direct to you from Crown Park. Kei rano ita maru tatata munga tupuna a tauhara i taupo nuiatia.
Coming into the last eight minutes of St. Kindergarten's College against Berrydean College of the Sacred Heart. Berrydean are in for one, and uh, St. Kindergarten's are in for none. Engari tonu, kawe po hehe. Engoi koreana, a hato mango, ka hore, he kaha orato, he kaha, he pukenga. Oh! Bit of a bump off of the number three of St. Kindergarten's by the number four of Berrydean. Another one. Berrydean girls literally putting their backs into it. There are there, fun a few. Ma hato mango te poro. Ke arato ina ene. Kofana. Buried in girls using their heads to get their way out of problems. Ie tahiwa pai atu te upoko o te tokurua. Ki tō te upoko o te kōtahi. Ko Anya tērā te kaumā ono o te kapa Berenine. Seems like her family and her friends are supporting her. You'll often hear them call her name throughout the game. Yep, Berrydean tried to bring it in, but clearly the ball went over the line. Kea te kaitiaki o hato mango te pōru i nāia nei. Tango nei tātou te mihi ki a Farrah. Tēnē wā tonu e whakarite reti tonu ana te kāmera kia pāpā hongi a ai e mātou te pikitia pai mō koutou. Nō reira aku whakapaha atu mō tēnā o ngā mahi. Coming up to the last five minutes of the first half of St. Kentigan's and Baradine College of the Sacred Heart. And the score so far is one to none in favour of Baradine College. Ball goes into touch. Uh, 
after a hot winter, hopefully the air is here, it's coming up to spring. But the sun is still on the wet floor, I like the juniors. Kaya St. Kinsgans de Poro i tēnē awa tonu. Ahakoa. Kaore ngā kai tākoro mō te whawhai. E ma te kai tonu ana. Rātou i te piro. Nō reira. Kare rato e e ma taku ana kia put their back into it me ki. Body on the line. Rai ki te rai, wai ki te wai. Hope ki te hope. Koina te tu ahua o tene ke mu i tene wā tonu. Penalty kick. For Baradin College of the Sacred Heart. Catholic School based in Rimuera coming up against St. Kendigans Presbyterian School based in East Auckland Tata Oti Tātou i te hāwhe tuatahi o tēnē ke mu ke wāinga i a hātou mango Rawa ko buried in College of the Sacred Heart. And I expect to hear the referee's whistle blow any minute. Referee, sorry, the goalkeeper switching it up. Looked like she was trying to draw in some attackers and then switched it to the other side so that her defenders could have a clear path to bring the ball back into midfield. Katahi anō kia tangi te wihara o te referee nō rere kua tai atu ki te hāwhe o tēnē kemu we just come to half time and the score so far is one to none in favour of Berydean College of the Sacred Heart who are of course taking on St. Kintigan's College for the privilege, for the bragging rights for the title of the Premier Girls Football Team of Aotearoa Koe tō takata o Bronson Pereche mihi atu ne kia koutou e mihi atu anō anā hau ki a Apollo Projects Kia Baileys, kia Caltex, kia New Zealand Carbon Farming, kia Whakata Māori anō, te kainga tūturu o ngā hā kinekina rangatahi o te motu nei. Halftime score is one to none in favour of Berrydin College as they take on St. Kintigans for the title of the Premier Girls Football Team of our nation. Being a rural school, travel is always a huge cost when playing sport at Central Hawks Bay College. With the funding from Apollo Projects, we've been able to lower travel costs to allow more students to participate in secondary school competitions. Where families have more than one child participating in sport and participating in more than one sport, the financial impact can be huge. 
thank you to Apollo Projects for the huge difference you have made to our students' participation levels in sport. It's a big thank you to Apollo Projects for providing the funding to have Apollo um, run this program. Uh, not only for us, but uh, all, all the other schools, it makes a big difference to get some kids more active. The funding from Apollo has been spread across 14 um, team trips this year. It's been uh, a big help to them and they're, they're really appreciative um, of Apollo for being able to provide it for us. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yeah. This isn't about long distance calling technology, or living overseas. Do I have one more bid? Thank you. We're going to go once. We're going twice. And we are sold to the Kiwi phone bidder from Manchester. <laughs> it's about Baileys finding buyers that others can't. This isn't an ad about four-wheel drives. It's about knowing the place, as well as the locals. You've found the place. That's a good start. Good by my great-grandfather. No time to fluff around today? No worries. Just swing into Caltex and pay for fuel with pay and app to speed on through. Oh yeah. Feels good. Use it at your local participating Caltex. Want to catch a fuel bargain with Caltex and Supergold? Scan your Caltex app, flybys or airpoints for six cents off per litre with Pumped. You and show your Supergold card for an extra two cents off. Ah, feels good. I just want to thank New Zealand Carbon Farming for taking the initiative and supporting schools like ours. It's really important they have that outlet to come to Kura for another reason other than curriculum. And for some reason in our water, our kids just breathe sport and having that resource here makes life that much more enjoyable and they can keep doing what they're good at. Having this funding, being able to use it specifically targeting sport is hugely beneficial. It's a real privilege, but you know, for us, we want to see others get involved in this. This is not a selfish thing for Apollo. This is about how can we get, um, whether it's construction or other businesses, to get involved in this. So sponsorship from New Zealand Carbon Farming has been fantastic for our sports teams actually who went away to tournament week. We're a community who's driven by sport, but often money and, and the cost of travel, accommodation and uniform can be a, a barrier for some of our students. And to come out with a, a new uniform for a number of sports, particularly our basketball teams who have been away at nationals, has been uh, uplifting for the students and for our community. Uh, the support from Carbon Farming has been wonderful. Without them, then we wouldn't look like this. <laughs> Oh, right. 
St. Kentigans and Barrett End College. After the first half, came up 1 and 0 in favour of Barradeen. Premier Girls Football Tournament. St. Kindergarten and Baradine College competing for first place in the 2023 Premier Girls Tournament. St. Kindergans at none, but not for a lack of trying and not for a lack of skill. Buried in College managing just to get one point in the last half. However, both sides have definitely brought their A game and shown a high level of quality during the Premier Girls Tournament here in Toponui Atia. Katayano kia puroku te poroki waho. Ka maka atu ano ki roto i te papafira. Te papatakoro. This is the very last game of the tournament. 40 minutes left. Ko te pātai ia. Wai kā hua. Wai kā mōhio. Wai kā toa. Who will be the Premier Girls team for our New Zealand secondary schools here in Aotearoa? Mau mahara ana. Mau mahara ana hau. I ngā kupu o Optimus Prime. One shall stand. One shall fall. These games have been being brought to you in association with Apollo Projects, Baileys, Caltex, New Zealand Carbon Farming, and of course, Fakata Māori, the home of Rangatahi Sport here in Aotearoa. Kei te whakawhiti Ngā kapa e roa nei I waingi a rātou E toro ana i te pōro Kia āhei rātou te whai piro i tēnei hāwhe e tūrua O te kei mū kei wanga I a hato mango Rāua ko Baradine Both sides jostling for position Vying for supremacy in the second half of St. Kentigans and Baradine College of the Sacred Heart here in Crown Park, Tohara, and Topo Nui Atia. And that's Madeline Wood Woodford, number eight for Baradine. Both teams performing rather famously during the tournament. Can I come? Where's 
Mena kei te hia hia tia e koutou ki te mātaki i ngā kēmu nei ki rungi te ipurangi. Tēnā, tono atu ki a YouTube, ki mi hia te te ierere e kia nei ko at whakāta Māori. Rapua te te rehita, te kuhinga o ngā whirio e kia nei ko te whutupauro. Look at the football section of the YouTube channel run by Whakata Māori and you will see all of these games. All of the games of the quarters, semis and grand final of the 2023 Premier Girls Tournament. Kua whara tētehi, kā hore kua hinga tētehi. Engari, hei tā Baradine, hei, kā reheaha, kā reheaha, oi ho, oi ho. Kā re tērā kōtiro o Baradine, e whai whakaro atu ki te whakahau o te referee. Number 12 from Berenin College. <laughs> Not too happy with the referee's call. Ko Liliana Cesare Atera. And I think the 17, number 17 for St. Kindigan is Putri Adana. And you can see she's putting a lot of work during this game. Tēnā, kei te koukiri tonu a Hato Mango, kei te whaipiro, a hakoa kei raro tonu rātou e putu ana. Kei te aukati, kei te kaha kaupare, a Baradine, i te whai, a Hato Mango. Oh, some ball skills there, trying to keep... Some juggling, foot juggling. Well, juggling a ball with feet, not literally juggling feet. Would be rather distasteful on a kids' show. Ke Berenin te poro i naiane, e kaha tonu te haere, ko te nama iwatera ko Emma Pites. Ke te te kau matahi. Motaku he, kua whakarerea e te takau mātahi o Hato Mango, ko Amy Kavanaugh tērā. Kia Madeleine Woodford, ka tahi anō, kia makana e ia ki roto e te papatākoro. No, he ruturutu tērā, he pei. Kaha haere ana, Pūturi Adana, ki te whaipiro. Ako ngā piki me ngā heke. Ako kei raro tonu rātau e putu ana. Hato Mango, haere ano kia whiwhi piro. I a rātau. Kei Hato Mango ina e nei. St. Kent's. Continuing to be determined, despite having not scored a point in the game. No signs of giving up, no signs of weakness. And even using their head when needed. Tērā te whanawhiu pēr. 
back out. Me mahi ano te maka. Kei te kaha te fai. Kei te kaha fai. Tonu. Aha to mango. Bravo ko Berrydin. I believe this will be a very close game. Nice skill showing there. Oh, an attempt at goal. Did it ki wee wee ki wa wa. Coming up to the 10th minute of the second half of St. Kentigan's and Berrydin College of the Sacred Heart. This is the final game of the 2023 Premier Girls Football Tournament. The winner of this game will be the Premier Girls team of all New Zealand secondary schools. Whoever wins this game will literally be the best of the best of the best in Aotearoa. Koira pea te karanga o St. Kendigans, kia wai ho, kia wai ho te poro, kia wai ho mō rātou, a Berrydeen, kei te kaha tonu te haere a Berrydeen, i whana atu a Berrydeen ki te hoa e tata ana ki te uhanga, ki te pai u, engari i whakakahore tia e hato manga. Berrydeen closing in, closing into the goal, an attempted set up, an attempted cross, which was quickly rejected by St. Kent's. St. Kent's are able to uh, protect their goal and bring the ball into the desired part of the field. Kei te oma te haere, kei te oma. E a hei ana, e a hei ana. Te kōtiro o hato mango. Ki te pahure. Ki te pāneke. Penalty kick for St. Kentigans. Could this be the opportunity that they need? A setup, which was slapped down by the Kaitiaki. Barry didn't have the ball now. Will this translate into another point? Not if the goalie has anything to do with it. Oh. An attempt at ball control. Went the ball went sideways, literally. Ite ne wa tonu ke te kaha tonu te haere o ngā kapa e rua nei. A hako a kei roro a hato mango e putu ana. Ke te kaha tonu te haere, ke te kaha tonu te tiaki pai o hato mango i te uhanga. A hako a ko tahi te piro a Berrydeen. Not quite. An attempt on the part of Barreting to set up a second point went into the side of the goal net. Ko te tauranga o te wā, 
karekau he piro mo hato mango ko tahi noi ho te piro a berding he tu mo mo fana e fai atu ana ki te uhanga inga de kare no kia fai piro ke te kai tiaki matua te poro ka fana atu ki nga na hoa o te waenga o te whira Ingat dikata hiano kafa kau kiat. Saint Kent's continuing to press forward. Midfielders bringing the ball up for their attackers. Baradine quickly regaining position. Atu kinga ringa tiaki otkai tiaki matua. E tute tute ana te poru ki wainga o te whira, ki te wainga, me te pokapu o te whira. Ball keeps on being jostled back and forward between the centre of the field, occasionally coming to the different halves. He whana kokonga, ma Baradine pēa. Engari me mihi kā tika. Me mihi kā tika ki ngā kapa erua nei, me te katoa ngā kai tautoko, ngā kai āwhina, ngā kai ako. Rātou, rātou katoa, ko ta tū mai ki rungi a tauponu i atia nei. Me rātou, te taia, te haramai ki ko nei. O te rā, ko ngā unsung heroes, ko ina taku mihi, ma rātou taku mihi. To get a team to the final game, of the 2023 Premier Girls shows a high level of work and coordination that we will never ever be able to see. A lot of these things go on behind closed doors, behind four walls, behind endless nights and long days. O te rā mō rātou, o hato mangu, te rā pea koina te rā roro arawa. Could this be the longest day for St. Kendigans at this time. Okay, buried in the Porto Ite Newa Tonu. 16 minutes have passed in the second half of the final game of the 2023 Premier Girls Tournament. Kote Pata Ia. Wai Ka Hua. Wai Ka Tohu. Wai Ka Toa. St. Kendigans showing their resilience in the face of furious defence, determined defence. Buried in college, continue to press forward. Kare rātou i te mātaku, aho ko te aha. Aho ko te kaha pēhi o te hōriri. Kaore ngā kapa e rua nei i te mātaku i te hōriri. St. Kendigans trying to bring the ball back into play. Trying to resume control. Trying to get vital momentum back. Nice! Kei te noho tonu. Nge te hi o ngā ākona. Ākonga. Ko oti a rātou te tākaro i tēne wā tonu. Mai e te hi atu kura, mai e te hi atu kura. Oh, bit of a bump off. Tuki tuki a a hope tera.
Je to vytvořil já na tady fary. Katu mají. Katu mají rád, to je moté fana. Jou kati pai. A Berydine. I te whana. A hato mang. St. Kintz. Easily defending against Berydine. Berydine easily defending against St. Kintz. Ko putri adana tērā. Te kaumā fitu o te kapa. Hato mango. Tata ki te rua takau miniti ko a pahuri e tēnei kēmu. Koina te half e whakamutunga o te half e whakamutunga o tēnei kēmu. Kei wainga i a hato mango o rau o ko Berydine College. I love penalty shootout finals. If St. Kent's end with one to one, then the game will just get even more exciting. Ngari Tony, emi hite nei kite kaha, unga kapa eru a nei. Will Barry then get another point? They're in the zone. St. Kent's deny the request for another point to be added to the table. St. Kids again, bring the ball back into play. Will they get it to midfield? Just have. Oh, bit of a bump off there. Etuki tuki ana. Te nono a tetehi. Te puku a tetehi hats. Ke a buried in te poru in aine. Ka whana atu. Ingeri. Ka pā atu anō ki a hato mango. Ke a hato mango te poru. Ke te poko pū o te whire in aine. No, it's just a just a wrong angle on that kick. Meant that St. Kent's couldn't bring it up to the line. Ngari, mena kati turatu. Oh, kua hinga. Kua hinga te tihi o te kapa hato mango. One of the St. Kent's girls takes a fall. I noticed that this ref is a bit sharper, a bit um, stricter on the penalties. And that may be because it's the final. Want to make sure that the girls are safe. Not too sure. Or whether it's her particular style. Could be that. Kei te kaha rutu rutu. Ngā kape e rua i a rātou anō. Ki te whai atu, ki te toro atu i te pōro. Kei e Berredin tonu. E haere tonu ana. E te uhanga. Ke hato mangu in nae nei. Makanatu e Berydine. Ngari kei a St. Kent's te pōru i tēnā wātonu. Is this the opportunity that St. Kent's need to equalise the points? A nice left-hand kick would be good right now, which was deflected by the body of a Berrydin College player. Someone near the mic saying that they're hungry. Ka tahi te hia kai o te rā o te rā kotiro. Taku mihi aroha ki aia. 
But if you are really hungry, those of you who have come from the outside of Taupo, you're only a few minutes away from Paitiki Pies, the best pies in Taupo, Nuyatia. The Paitiki Bakery on the corner of Taharepa and Waffle Range Road. Mena kei te matakai koutou e noho ana ki rungi te feeder o Crown Park. Tēnā hare atu ki, ki Paitiki Bakery, hokona ngā pies i tunuhia e lamb. Lamb's pies at the Paitiki Bakery, best in the universe. Kei te kahatonu te whai o hatomango, katutuki, kahore. Kei e Baradine i nai anei. Hoki atu, ki a hato mango. Oh. Two girls take a fall. We're hoping that none of them are hurt. Ngeri kua pū roku roku. Ki tāna tūra, te tehi o ngā... Te tehi o ngā hato mango. One of the St. Ken's girls took a roll. And then the Baradine girl, is she okay? Hopefully she is. Hope both girls are fine. You know, someone should have told the guys at the Pie Tiki Bakery to put a pie truck in the car park here at Crown Park. I reckon they would have made a killing. Norea, ko te tuma nako e payana te tokorua, te tokorua e ihingara i runga te fira, te fira. And again, we're acknowledging and thanking our supporters, Apollo Projects, Baileys, Caltex, New Zealand Carbon Farming, and of course, Whakata Māori, te kainga tūturu, o ngā hā kina kina rangatahi. A kick for touch. No. St. Kent's have the ball. Can, will, can, will they get another point? St. Kent's need another point. And that will be a corner kick for Baradine. And again, Baradine have proven that they're very, very good at using these corner kicks to set up those much needed points. I don't know, that was a throw in. That went out anyway. And that'll be in the goalie's hands. St. Kent's goalie. She'll probably do a short pass as she's well known to do. Which she just did. Take it to the number 11. That almost didn't go their way. St. Kent's need to be sharper on their passes if they are to get that much needed point. Coming up to 13 and a half minutes left in the final of the final halves of the 2023 Premier Girls Tournament. Will St. Kent's be able to get that much needed point to bring them back in the game? Kei raro a hatomango e putuana. Ko te pātaiia e a hea na rātou ki te whaipiro hei whaka ōrite rite ngā te tauranga i tēnei ahi ahi tonu ki runga i a Crown Park i Tauhara. I wonder if any of the kids will watch the games and they realise that uh, the whole time that the mic was recording and broadcasting their cheerful conversations. Corner kick. Will this translate into points? And it goes over. Coming up to 12 minutes left in the final half of the final game of the 2023 Premier Girls Tournament. St. Kent's College taking on Baradine College of the Sacred Heart. Vying for supremacy. Jostling for the title. Waikahua, Waikatohu, Waikatoa. Who knows? I wonder if we'll ever get any extra letters in that Love Topo sign to Love Topo Nuiatia. 
Taupo Nuiatia being the original name of this area. Also represents the lake, which was named by Tia. St. Kent's showing no fear in the face of adversity. Something that I've noticed in these games is seems to be one particular side that the ball ends up going out against. Kahato niwana hato mango te fai piro. Here we have Baradini Nayane. Oh, but neke neke atu a Baradini iti kaitiaki o hato mango. Okay, well, okay, the poor Rui Nayane. As we are coming to the final 10 minutes of the final half of the final game of the 2023 Premier Girls Football Tournament here in Crown Park, live and direct from Topo Nui Atia. Okay, don't you know, okay, mu ia fakata Maori, a papa hoane, te ne watoni. Ko papa hongi a nge te hi onga onga kemu ina nahira. Bete wena rei, no rei rei mena e mahui ana, i a inge tehi, i ngā kemu nei, i a hei ana koutou, ki te mātakitaki ki runga i a YouTube, rapua te at whakāta Māori, i nga koe tai atu ki te whārangi rā, rapua te playlist e kia nei ko football. Kei reira te kato o ngā kemu pāpahongia e mātou. Or if you want to watch the old school, Māori television, has been and always will be for the time being on Channel 5 on Freeview. Ingarika te fana, e kahana te fana. Ah, St. Kent's. St. Kent's. They've got nine, just under nine and a half minutes to draw the game, to create a shootout. Two for the win, one for the shootout. But due to the high level of skill displayed on both teams, this has definitely been a low school game. Okay, the Kaitiaki Matua or the Taha Hati Mango. Okay, te te hunga kaitiaki, fiwa atu ki te ki te puku o te fira. Oh, ki te taha, ki te kaha tote, tute tute, a berdin, ki te kapu i te poro, ki te mau i te poro, a wai nei, a wai wai nei. And these games have been brought to you by Apollo Projects, Baileys, Caltex, New Zealand Carbon Farming and of course Whakata Māori, the home of all rangatahi sport here in Aotearoa. Kei po he he koutou, e hara i te kuku rangatahi i te kuku mo te taiohi, ko te taiohi ke tērā. Ko te rangatahi e tū momo, e tū momo kupinga. I whakamahia ngia, i whakamahia e ngā tūpono o te kapu e te ika. Coming up to the final seven minutes of the final game of the 2023 New Zealand Premier Girls Tournament. Will St. Kent's get that vital point, that one point that they need to stay in the game? And will they be able to continually defend against the relentless onslaught, the relentless attack of Barrett and College? They've done really well so far. Emihitene, kita kaha, mete kounga, 
o ngā kapa e rua ko ata tū mai ki runga i te papatākuru i tēnei a, i tēnei ata tonu, i tēnei rā tonu. Kea Barron in the ball room. Whakahuki atu ki tō rātou hāwhe pai atu. Kei te kaha tonu te te oma. Ko Pūturi atana tērā. E oma atu ana i te pōru ngari kare nō ia. Kei atu tuki te te wawata o te mau i te pōru. Kei ahi ia te whiwhi mo tana kapa i te pireo kotahi. Berardin, I'm predicting probably a short pass. There we go. Short pass to the fellow defender. Or bypass, put to the other, or they'll definitely try. Motaku he, I had a tera, you put to the other, so it's at least two tera, the number two, or Hato Mang. Oh, getting the flag out of the way so she doesn't kick it. That's the number 10 called Hannah Saxon Tera. Oh, looked like she was trying for a curve, a curve kick into the goal. Not trying to get it directly to one of her team, but rather a curve. She almost got it. That would have been a great, that would have been a great goal. In the last five minutes of St. Kendigan's versus Berardine College of the Sacred Heart. Waikahua, Waikatohu, Waikatoa. Oh, and a kick to the referee's leg there. Oh. Please don't kick me. Prey tonu ana rātou. Oh, whakawhiti te pōro. Oh, Barrett in trying to get the ball, but dare to Tuki. Again, try and get the ball off. St. Kittigans, but they're not successful. <laughs> and we're coming up to the last four minutes of St. Kittigans versus Barradin College. The score so far is one love in favour of Barradin. High levels of skill being displayed on both sides of the field today. Both sides have brought their A game. Inga de kote pataia, kwa nafe te A game o Barry Dean ki te toa ia hato mangu. Kwa nafe te pataia nui i tēnei wā tonu. And as both sides have brought their A game, the question is, whose A game will be enough to be the Premier Girls football team of Aotearoa for the year 2023? It's a game of two halves e te iwi no reta kaua Kaua e whakaiti i te kaha o Hato Mangu. Kua tata ki te toru miniti e toi ana i tēnei kemi. I a hei tonu ana rātou ki te whai piro. Kua kei roro rātou e putu ana. Kei te kaha tonu te haere. There's an example there. Baradine will be wanting to get another point in the last few minutes just to increase their chances of winning. Just And if they can get another point, they'll probably have it in the bag. Engare tonu. Mena ka whaia e hato mango e te kotahi piro. Ka whaka o rite rite ngā ta tauranga o tēnei kemu ka tei ka tīmata te penalty shootout. Oh, will this be a final point? Not if, not if the Kent girls can help it. She's going to try and bring the ball into play. Hopefully, St. Kent will be able to slip past the attackers, the buried in attackers. The referee calls for a throw in. St. Kent have the ball. Buried in. Kāre rātou mō te tūohu, a hākua te maunga teitei. 
Ferano, Ferano, uh, Hato Mangu. It looks like they'll get a ball past him so that they can carry on playing. Oh, maybe he got to get that out of the way. But he hit the ball. Kia ora. Thanking our friend there who brought the ball back into play. Nah. Nah, Berardini, in INA to Porto. But again, we've seen what they can do with these corner kicks. Rodeda. Oh. That was an interesting play. I thought they were just preparing, but didn't realize that Barry Dean had done a very small corner kick. Okay, a hato mango, the the poro ina ene. We're in the last minute, the last minute of Saint Kentigans versus Barry Dean College. Can they equalize? Last few seconds of the game. St. Kentigans versus Barradine. I think this is going to make for a very somber conclusion to an exciting tournament. The 2023 Premier Girls Football Tournament here in Topo Nui Atia. King of Katoa. And the final whistle is blowing. And Berrydin College of the Sacred Heart are the 2023 champions, the Premier Girls football team of our New Zealand secondary schools. Engari Hato Mango, Kawa Epo Uriuri, Tu Kaha, Tu Maya, Tu Narongi Ia Kota Turanga. And let the girls from Berrydin have their moment of celebration. Looks like they've given their all. One of them sitting down. There you go. Finally giving themselves permission to rest. Congratulations. <laughs> Barrett and College played a great game, but so did St. Kindigans. St. Kindigans never giving up up until the very last seconds of the game. Despite every difficulty, St. Kindigans refused to give up right down to the last second. These games have been brought to you by our supporters, Apollo Projects, Baileys, Caltex, New Zealand Carbon Farming, and of course, Fakata Mob. Want to give a special thanks to everyone who came and supported these proceedings, came and supported the girls. The future of our nation is right here at Dewi. If you want to see the future of New Zealand sport, you've just seen it. We know not what. We know not what, what will happen. Perhaps we've seen some future all whites playing here today. But it's been my pleasure to be with you all today over these past three days. Noreira, Tenakoto, Tenakoto, Kerotata Katoa, Kahuri.